Hi, right, we're going to take a look at the HP 840G3. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay, um, got this laptop a while ago. Um, we're just going to take a look at it. So, let's see. Here's the sides. Uh, vent. The display or monitor port. USB. It says charge too, sorry about that. Charge. Uh, SC for like, what was it called? Uh, for like, scan cards or something. It's for, for travel. Here's a front. I have it in standby right now. If you can see that. Power. Wi-Fi. Plug in. Hard drive. Okay, so that's all the that's mostly the only light on there in the front. Here's the other side. Let's see. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. USB C, Display Port. I don't have the cables for it, which came with it. So I bought this used, so it didn't come with it. Um, headphone jack. USB, uh, Ethernet jack, uh, let's see, I for, I do not know what that is actually, that one, SIM card for like phones, and power switch, and here's the back, so nothing, and here's the bottom, vent, Pro it windows. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what these are. There's, let's see. Just screws, information, and that's it. And here is on the other side also is the SD card reader. So let's open up. Okay. Here it is. Okay, it's not high enough. Okay, so if you get the higher quality one, there's a fingerprint sensor right here. Um, touchpad, mouse, and then there's a thumb one. Okay, so what I don't like about this one is the keyboard, the arrow pads. It's really hard to use since it's so small. Let's see, uh, wireless button, mute button. Then I don't know why it has a mute button too with FN. Then sound volume, brightness, and LED lights for the keyboard, and night mode. So I've had a few things already. It's in standby. So let's see. So let's see. With the keyboard. Let's see the keyboard. So none, bright, lo low, and then off. Okay, let's see. Let's see some of the testing I've been doing to it. Let's see how this would work. Okay, so this laptop has resolution of 1300 by 700, which is pretty bad. Uh, it's okay. At least it doesn't use as much power. Okay, here's a CPU. It's a uh, i5 6200U, two core, four logics. So let's see. Here's more information on that one. Okay. Here's the cache, motherboard, memory. This one has only four gigs, and the GPU is 520 Intel. 
let's see here it runs on an ssd and the ssd has this read 500 right 300 sort of and then here's the other specs on it i just really ran these let's see on gaming it does i can run ghost in the shell if you want to see the other settings so let's see So this is what I'm betching marking on it, on a low quality, low setting. So this one asks for for minimum 260 GTX. So it's pretty good. So let's see. If you have any questions regarding this? Here, let me show you the system. So there it is. So if you have any questions, send me a message. Okay, just to inform you that this is actually not a SSD, it's an M.2 drive for storage. So, and inside is a M.2 somewhere by the, under the keyboard. And then also on the bottom by the battery is actually a, a SATA connection. So you can install a SATA hard drive. So you could install an SSD if you want, okay? And expansion, there is also one more, there's two DIMMs for the memory card, memory, yeah, memory, yeah, memory, memory card, and this one's a 4 gig, okay? And the speed regarding that is, let's see, this again, task manager, memory, 2131. Oh, whoops. As you can see right there. Okay. Um, I recommend, do you recommend upgrading more than four? Four is a little. Depends on what you do. But it runs pretty well. Okay. Thank you for watching. Okay, we're going to take a look at the power adapter for it. Forgot to inform you. So here it is. Just one cable. It's pretty small. But it gets pretty hot while you're using it and while you're while it's charging. So here's the cable. Okay. And it's a three prong. You can take it off, but there's no extra like USB or anything. So here it is. If you want the information regarding it. Okay, thank you for watching.